Hello Jacko! In today's video I will show you how to make this trippy audio visualizer effect in DaVinci Resolve by using a plugin and a bit of a match. Now let's get digital. The plugin that you need is called Reactor, you will find it on the WISA class forum, I will leave a link to it down below. So you will have to go a bit down, download this file and launch DaVinci Resolve and simply put this file inside the Fusion page. So in DaVinci Resolve, open the media pool, right click, make a new Fusion composition, we can give it a name, visualizer, just so we know what it is, put this onto a timeline, and you can also extend it to as much as you want. You'll go into the Fusion page, and once you have the file downloaded, simply click and drag it and release it in the Fusion page. That will prompt you to install it, and it may take some time to install and you may also need to restart DaVinci Resolve for it to show up. Then you'll go to Workspace, Scripts, Reactor, and you'll open it, which also takes a bit of time. And why do we need to open it? Well, we need to enable the plugin that we want to use, and Reactor is just a collection of community plugins. So I'll type in Audio, and you can see that I have two audios enabled. This is not the one that we want to use, we want to use this one, Sockless Audio. And this will be found under the modifiers, and I'll show you how to use it. And before we can actually use the plugin, we have to have some audio. So I'll just go to my file, you can use any audio that you want. So I will use this one, put it on. This is an mp3 file, as you can see, but we need a WAV file. So what I'll do is I'll press I at the beginning of the audio and O at the end of the audio, go to the delivery page, under to render we'll uncheck export video, go to the audio section, have this set to export audio and choose the WAV file. Then once you have that, simply set the location and the name, this looks good, add to render queue and render this out. So we have the WAV file, looks to be ok, and now we can go back into the Fusion page and do what we have to do, which is the visualizer. So I will make this visualizer effect using an ellipse, FS noise node, and a background node. So this will be the beginning of the composition, we have the ellipse. I can make it small like this, if I want to make an adjustment using the width or the height, I would have to do it separately, so you can simply type in equals into one of the fields and connect the plus to the height or to the width. So now if I adjust the height, the width also changes. I will uncheck the solid because I only want the outside, increase the border width, and maybe I will adjust the soft edge by a tiny bit. We can then connect this to the fast noise as a mask. The fast noise will be displayed on the left. So let's not connect it for now. We can increase the detail, the contrast, and decrease the brightness. This is something that I had previously. Although the detail was being animated, and so was the see through it. But what we can do at the moment is adjust the scale, so this will affect the whole ellipse, otherwise we'll have just half of the ellipse being affected when we connect the mask, as you can see. So this is what the scale will help us fix. And if we apply it some C3, you can see that we have an animation. Otherwise, nothing is being animated. This will be done using the music, so we'll do that at the end. And what I have also done is I have enabled this continuous as this gave me a better result. But we'll also do this at the end. We can now connect the fast noise to the background, currently it's black. What I have done is I have simply set this to be a gradient, and maybe we can do a radial one. So we affect the whole ellipse, and we'll type in the start 0.5 and the ending also 0.5, so this is in the center, and then we'll simply change the color to what we want. 
maybe this will be red and we'll make a bunch of points change the colors to what you want you can always come back later on when you'll see how it looks like maybe something like this so I have a bunch of colors nothing really happens with them but we'll animate these colors with the offset so this will change but the maximum value that this will change at is 1 but we also have to change the length of this so now if I go from 0 to 1 we should pretty much have the whole spectrum of the colors that we've selected but once it comes to 1 that's it so we'll have to select this not as once but as repeat now we'll simply animate this I'll go to the beginning frame 0 make a keyframe now this composition is running at 30 fps so 30 frames is one second so you have to decide how fast you want this animation to be when it comes to the color change maybe I'll go with 2 seconds so frame 60 and set the offset value to 1 if I press play the colors will change and stop even though I have this set to repeating why is nothing happening well as you can see the value is still set to 1 so I have to go to the spline click the three dots select show only selected tool so only the background node is visible if you select it select the offset because this is what we have animated zoom to fit and you can press this button to select both points and click set relative and now the animation will continue after this keyframe that we have set so now this is the base done and now we have to expand on it now how we'll do that is make a new node shift space to open the select tools I'll type in duplicate we want a duplicate node this one's it put it in between the background and the media out we'll make 10 copies for now see how this will look like the time offset will be negative it will look pretty much okay if we go positive or negative because we're at frame like 100 but if you're in the beginning you want to have a negative offset how smooth this will look like will also depend on the value that you use so maybe I'll go with minus 3 frames for now this is in frames this is not in seconds now all of the 10 copies are now in the same position so to fix that we can change the size but we don't see anything because we're at the beginning we have to move out a little bit to see the changes now you can have 10 copies but you can also input a different value maybe 20 and then just scale down the size accordingly we can also adjust the ellipse maybe scale it down but if you do you will also have to change the settings in the fast noise node now everything is looking a little bit blurry and that is because of the soft edge otherwise it will look like this so maybe I'll leave it with zero soft edge for now because we'll also be adding some glow nodes so maybe we can do that after the background open the select tools shift space add the glow node and you can use both the glow and the soft glow and as you can see just by using the glow node it looks a lot softer maybe like this and add the soft glow node now the values that I'm using in the glow nodes these are not set in stone adjust them as you see fit now just so you can see what happens when I use this continuous it looks like this and that is why when I've used the details with something less when I animated them using this continuous was okay otherwise this would not look okay now what I may wish to do is increase the ellipse like it was previously I want the whole screen to be filled in I can always use a transfer node just before I use the duplicates and scale this down if you have issues with playback 
this will not play back in real time as you can see you can go to playback timeline proxy resolution set this to quarter if you still have issues you can right click here and disable high quality and motion blur and this should now play in real time looks okay but I want to spice it up a little bit so I'll go into fast noise node go to the beginning I will be animating the angle so it spins around I'll start at zero and then how fast do I want this to be maybe I'll go with 10 seconds since I have 30 frames for one second this will be 10 seconds and in 10 seconds this will make a whole circle that looks good but at the end as you can see it straightens out so we have to also adjust the spline so the animation continues on select the angle zoom to fit select both points and click set relative you could maybe also choose ping pong so it goes in the opposite direction and maybe the animation is a bit too slow so I will change it I could do it in the spline but keyframe is a little bit better so don't make any unnecessary adjustments so let's see maybe I'll put this to 150 so it's at 150 and this should now be a bit faster maybe I would even want this to be a bit faster as well so I'll put it to frame 100 so this is looking nice but we still don't have anything that has to do with the music and this is what we'll be doing now so we'll be adjusting the seed rate and we'll also be adjusting the details and this will be jumping up and down up and down so it will look different each time and if I use this continuous well currently it looks like this and it's kind of awesome so first I'll go to details right click modify and this is where you will see the modifiers if you've also enabled the audio plugin so click on that the modifiers now shows up and it's clickable so click on that we exported the audio as a WAV file because we need a WAV file so this is the one that I've made and all of a sudden it looks a lot different we can change the amplitude scale so let's see what the values we have we have 0 0.3 and if I skim through we have values that don't go over 1 so how high do we want these values to go maybe you want to change the scale to maybe 20 to get some colors back you can also change the frequency if you have a song so maybe the middle one is the best and you can also go over the modes but I think inside max is the best in this case so let's see what the values we have now we have the values going from zero if we look at the details and they also jump to seven maybe eight nine we'll do the same for the seed rate although now we don't need to go back to the modifiers we can simply type in equals and connect the plus to the detail and now the seed rate will also be jumping up and down now this is really trippy maybe we would have to fix the animation of the angle so let's see if that changes if I just use set relative instead of the ping pong how that looks like so I don't think that's the issue I think what the issue is is this discontinuous so let's enable it see how this looks like and I actually think this looks a bit better well a lot better than without the discontinuous option so this looks awesome maybe we can make some adjustments to the glow nodes maybe like that and at the end what I have added which spices up things just a little bit after the duplicate shift space type in 
prism blur and we'll also add an ellipse as a mask so connect it make this ellipse just a bit bigger maybe something like this we'll invert the selection so it affects the outside not the inside and maybe adjust the soft edge by a tiny bit and then in the prism blur we can add some vignetting we also have the blur strength and the blur distance now if I disable the prism blur let's see the before and after I think it looks okay maybe the effect is a bit too strong I think this is pretty much it so let's go to the edit page we can now increase the fusion composition to be all the way to the end of the song and we now need to wait for this to render out otherwise it'll be quite laggy as you can see so I'll go to playback render cache and enable smart and we should now see the line and once this line turns blue we'll have a smooth playback so this is taking a long time to cache five minutes long fusion composition so let's just see what I have I like the beginning we have some spacing between the music and the beats but from this point on everything is pretty much stacked up I would like to have a bit of a difference like I had in the intro Now is this just a case of a different music being used? I don't know, but I have made some changes and what you can achieve with the same composition I'll show you in this example because it's a short duration fusion clip so the changes that I have made the first one is in the duplicate node for the time offset I've used minus one instead of minus three and in the fast noise node if you go to the modifiers double click on audio wave I have disabled the filter so filter is off and I have also changed the amplitude scale from 20 to 3 and just changing those two values will give a drastically different result and in this case what I could also do in the fast noise node with the angle not have it go linear all the way straight up but use the ping pong like I had it in the beginning so let's see how that looks like and I think this is actually the best out of them all the only thing that you have to change now are the colors if you don't like any simply click on one of them that you want to change and change it out you can then also adjust the glow and the soft glow and lastly we have the prism blur you can adjust the abrasion distance and I'll also adjust the strength a little bit and maybe vignette to make the focus in the center and not on the outside and now let's take a look at the final result with the changes that I've made I'll tell you what, with these changes it looks a lot better. If you found this video helpful and you would like to see more content like this, subscribe to the channel. I'm Simon, until next time Jacko, keep it digital.